This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, April 16, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows light scattered precipitation across BC, Alberta, Ontario, and Quebec. The heaviest rain will coincide with the tropospheric convection through southern Ontario on Monday and Quebec on Tuesday in the U.S. A strong system continues to move through the Midwest, dragging heavy rain and high winds all the way south to Texas. Southern states will need to be on alert for possible tornadoes and strong storms, including Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, and North and South Carolina through Tuesday evening. All precipitation should be avoided with these systems especially in light of increased radiation levels recorded in Japan the week previous. In Europe, radar from Meteo France shows current rain for Ireland, the UK, and mountainous regions of Europe, with strong convection over the UK as well. Although it is not being widely reported, the methane well in the North Sea continues to leak, and prevailing winds will bring this on shore in Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany over the next 48 hours. In light of recent high radiation readings, all precipitation should be avoided, especially for children, the elderly, immune compromised, and pregnant women. Springtime is considered the peak season for fallout from excessive rain. This has been corroborated from research going back many years before nuke plants and bomb testing became the norm. Any news posted today a headline from Alaska's number two newspaper stating spring brings fallout, cesium-137 believed to cause malevolent genetic mutations. This is also becoming apparent from numerous uploads and postings of mutated dandelions in BC, Alberta, Washington State, Michigan, and northern Germany. Regardless of where fallout may originate from, the treatment is the same. Please see FukushimaFacts.com for links to mitigation and learning to live with the threat of radioactivity in your daily life. Nuke Report Palo Verde, Arizona had a reactor trip due to a critical control rod deviation during startup. The event is being investigated. Vogtill, Georgia had a reactor trip as well from a low water flow condition. The unit is currently in hot standby. Browns Ferry, Arizona, an unanalyzed condition was found that may impact the emergency diesel generator. And at Oconee, South Carolina, the facility has not been analyzed for all operating conditions. Unit 2 remains at decreased power while the situation continues to be observed. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.